didn't use music as a career, then who'd be writing all the six songs Smash Bros? You're right. Stupid nerds. So it looks the nerd, like... Wait, nerds also make some characters busted, though. Like Game & Watch. Like Game & Watch. Who it... Um, wait, nah. Um, I looked at the bracket before, and I thought that Zenkai was going to have to fight uh, Gamma, but it, that doesn't seem to be the case unless I'm just not seeing correctly. I don't know. Let me look oh, at bracket. it looks like that's Float. Yeah, he is playing Float. So um, Float is a Luigi player. Um, he's a regular here. He is known for um, parrying people's attacks and punishing them with upbeat and killing people at zero. Yeah. So... Apparently he learned how to do a zero to death on Yoshi today and pulled it off in bracket. Uh, not very happy about that as a Yoshi player. But we're getting into things here. Zenkai versus Float. Float being on a bit of an Aeon hiatus lately, and Zenkai has been, you know, making some big upsets and uh, getting really good placements in that time period. Float seems to be starting off pretty strong, though. It doesn't seem like he's intimidated at all. Yeah, but uh, now that fair gonna give him a lot of trouble recovering here. I think Zenkai might have saved him there. Great save on the double jump by Float. That's what you have to do as Luigi. If you don't know how to save your double jump as Luigi, you're going to get gimped off stage all the time. Yeah, so uh, this is really back and forth. That was a great parry from Float. We're going to get a trade there, though. Okay, Float's off stage again. This is, like I said, a very bad position, but he's, but he's just yeah, he able to reverse there. the situation. All right, so Zenkai didn't realize that he shouldn't be challenging the gr uh, green missile in just that way, and he ended up getting gimped. Oh, that was a great spot touch from Zenkai, going to avoid that grab. But that, that Shadow Ball is going to catch yeah. Float's tech option and take the stock. Oh, that Nair catching him on the way back. The Shadow Ball, uh, Float's going to jump over it, get the down B as Zenkai tries to chase him there. That down B uh, has some invincibility on startup, so it's a pretty good get off me option as long as you don't overuse it. Um, yeah. It's very punishable when um, it's spam, but in a situation like that, it'll work out great. Oh, Float's oh. going to get the grab. Not going to lean to anything. Grabs, a second grab, grab, though. And he has Zenkai at the ledge. That confusion is going to get him out of the situation, mm. though. Float so has for, really good patience, mm -hmm. especially for a kid his age. So for anyone uh, who's watching, uh, confusion is a reflector, but it also works like a command grab um, at close range. Yeah. That so if someone's, say, holding shield at the ledge, it's an option to get out of a situation like that. Yeah, so uh, Float... Losing to Zenkai there, losing his stock to Zenkai. Zenkai back airs him at the corner. So now Zenkai's got the advantage here with the full stock lead. He's going to start building up this damage. Okay. Ooh. So people talk about a lot how uh, Mewtwo jabs a little busted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're if you use back to the ledge and you catch a swift jab like that, it can be really hard to get out. You really need to SDI a lot. Mm. Yeah, so. Once again, uh, I was going to oh. say, float. Taking Zenkai's second stock, but Zenkai uh, ending things there with that JV, so he's going to take game one. Yep, and just like I mentioned at the start of the match, Luigi's poor offstage game really came into play there because it's really easy for Mewtwo to just go out and hit him. It takes a while for Luigi to make that distance back onto mm. the stage, and it's pretty easy to challenge him um, as long as uh, you know what you're doing. Yeah, and so... We both know for a fact that Zenkai knows what he's doing. Oh, definitely. Uh, Zenkai also, super aggressive player off stage. You know, he has all the ledge trap options. He has all that those edge guard tools. And Mewtwo has got those really big options that cover a lot of space and are really suited well for uh, gimping Luigi. So it looks like we're going to start off uh, game two on Final Destination. Oh, Personally, he's going to mess up that combo. I'm not sure why um, um, Float chose to go here. But maybe we'll see. Yeah, this is a. Uh, I've only seen this matchup once with Ben 999. Mm -hmm. um, oh, he's gonna get hit by that uh, green, green missile. missile. Zenkai is just keeping him um, off stage. There's not much that Boat's really been able to do this stock, mm. but he finally was able to get his foot. In. Oh yeah, he's turned things around, but Zenkai using that Shadow Ball get out of that. That was a great spot dodge from Float. The back is going to push him off stage again. The teleport, though. Zenkai turning things around. Now he's got Float off stage. This is exactly where he wants him. Low. Zenkai oh, just misses barely frame. misses the two-frame on the down air. 
But believe it or not, even though the percents don't look that way, this is an even game because if Float lands just one parry, that could be the end of Zenkai's stock. Mm. And if you got the read there, that, that could lead into an uppy. But Zenkai getting the uh, confusion into the fair. Which, um, at Wait, higher what? percents, can be a real combo. You can do teleport into the ledge that close? That was whack. I believe so, yes. Well, I mean, we just witnessed it. <laughs> All right, great wait from Float. He's going to get the other grab into and the down B. Not going to kill yet. Great DI from Zenkai there. Oh, all right. That was a great read on Zenkai dropping shield, float evening things up. But Zenkai, he's going to push him off stage. No double jump, I don't think. Am I wrong? No, nah, he still has it. Oh, okay. He does. And he's going to get back to stage. That was great recovery from float. Float's really fishing for the scrap. He knows all he needs is that one grab. That's death. Stock. But yep. Zenkai responds to the disable. And ends that stock super early. Mm. 70%. But this is the grab that we were talking about. But Float doesn't really get that much off of it. Alright, that was a great rolling from Float. He was uh, punishing that jab as Zenkai tried to uh, do his own rollback jab. But now Zenkai's got him off stage. This is a possible uh, last stock situation for Float. Or not last stock situation, but... Uh, floats last stock in winners. That dare's gonna pop him upwards though. So now he's got Zenkai at the ledge. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna hit him. Not gonna ledge. kill yet though. And the Mistfire's gonna help him out. It's gonna help him recover. The Nair though, gonna catch him off guard. Zenkai though, messing up his uh, edge guard. All right, that was uh, Zenkai not knowing what side he was gonna cross up on. Oh, disable? but he gets the disable there, and the up smash is going to do it. Zenkai taking a 2-0 over float. I guess you could say that's a galaxy brain setup. 